I'm right back. <laughs> this is part two of the haul that I had. And I'll show you what I got. Um, I got some really nice books. I've got books. I got these copies before, but I got more now. So this is DC versus uh, Marvel Comics number one. I think this is my second or third copy of this one. And I paid half off cover for it because they didn't have any prices on it. Some of the ones that I paid the cover price for when I showed you the sticker um, or say the price, uh, though that was at a different half price books. These ones here, I mixed them and I put them in alphabetical order, but I mixed them together so I could just show you them all, all at once. But the ones that I um, paid half off cover was at one, were at one store and the other ones were at another store. So this is number two of DC versus Marvel Comics. And I'm not sure if they have a trade paper, paperback of this or a hardcover of this. They probably do. But when I see them like this and everything, I like to get a whole set. I get, This is my first time getting a whole set. If I can get a whole set, I'm going to offer it as a, a prize on the channel. Or it might be a pop prize or something like that. We'll see. This is number three. This is the first time I got one of these. So this is number three. But that was cool. I'd like to do a flip through the whole series or something because it's just cool. Here's number four. I think I got about three copies of this. This is number four. It was only a four-issue series, but it's just cool. And this is cool. I never saw this before. Death, Deathmate Prologue, but it's gold. I paid half cover for this. And online, it's only going for, like, I, I checked it up. It's $3.80, very fine. But I'm not sure if it's near mint. And this one looks really, really nice. No dings on the edges that I noticed. And trying to keep these in really good condition because you see, if you can see, it's a thicker cover. It's made it more card stocky and everything. So um, I paid half cover for this, but it's just nice. And if you have a if you have a silver one, you know what the silver looks like. And this is this is gold. But when I saw it was gold, I said, "Well, it may be worth a little bit more." But it's not because they haven't really done anything with the story or with the characters, so uh, it doesn't make it worth anything. But if they were to make a movie. And tie it in with uh, somehow with uh, DC Comics. If since Jim Lee, Jim Lee is at, at DC, if they throw any of his characters in there, wow! And any any of the movies like Grifter or somebody, that'll be cool. Here's a Doctor Strange number forty four. I paid half off cover for this one. I got ones around it on a haul video before, but I could never find this one. So I, I found this one at that same uh, half price books that I went to. They got more books in, and I got another one. I got this now. So, and this was cool. This is at another one I went to yesterday. Flaming Carrot Comics. This is issue number 10. Let me... See, they got it in a terrible bag, but I paid $1.14 for it. But let me take it out of the bag. But it's a number 10. When I saw it, I, said, I grabbed it. Because I know these are worth a little bit of money. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was. But I thought it was cool. So. Just. The artwork is real simple in it. Real simple. But when did this come out? It's like. Published six times a year. It says. Uh. In the 80s, maybe. But it's just really cool. I just the 83 or something like that. It is 1983. But just really cool. So that's that. And let's see. Then I found these at the same place. I thought this was cool. Ghost Rider number one. Ghost Rider 2099 number one. This is the silver metallic cover. And I found the newsstand cover or just the regular cover. I'm not sure if it's a new stand or not. It might be just a regular cover without the foil on it. But those are cool. Then I found... I, got, I have some of these already. So some of these may be prizes. Infinity War. I found number three. Number four. And number five. Or... No, three. Three, four, and six. That's it. Not number five. Cool. And now we got some more of these. I've been trying to collect all of these. I didn't get Speed Demon, but I got JLX number one of the Amalgam Universe. 
And this one's the one that's going for a lot of money for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the combination of the characters. I got I saw one with Storm. They call her the Amazon. And then there's other ones. They got Speed Demon. I think it's Ghost Rider and uh, one of the Flash characters. But um, I got a set of these almost. So I think the only one I got to get is Speed Demon. But that's a, the second copy of that one. I may use that as, as a prize. Uh, then I found this because I saw some people collecting it. And I wanted to get it. Night Watch number one. This is the foil cover. I wanted. I was looking for the regular cover, and they didn't have it. Because whoever brought their collection in, they had a bunch of stuff. That some of the stuff that I showed you, they had a bunch of Spider-Man, and they had a bunch of um, the Ghost Riders and everything. They had Ghost Rider twenty nine nine. They had a bunch of other characters um, that were in there too. And I saw this one. They had a, almost a, maybe a whole set of Night Watch. But I tried to keep my cost to a minimum. I said just get number one, and I thought that was cool. I don't think it's worth anything, but it's just cool, like a Spawn. Kind of like when I, well, as soon as I saw it when it came out, I said, that's Spawn. Why'd they do that? But you could say that about Image doing that with, or other companies doing that with Marvel, or some companies doing that with DC characters, independent companies making up characters that are like the iconic characters that we know and grew up with, and you make another character like it. So everybody's <laughs> just doing different characters of everything. So this is Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death, number two. I have other issues of this when I saw this when I grabbed it because I didn't I couldn't find this one before so I got it now so I almost got a complete set of this this is a paid $1.49 for it I think it's going for a little bit of money Scooby-Doo this was cool Archie Comics number 10 I thought that was cool love Scooby-Doo and then this I'll be using this in my um, Todd McFarlane um, video series of showing all of his covers this is she the spirit of Ben Kai Battle book, Streets of Fire. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Alex Ross painting for the cover. So, um, and yeah. And in this one, I've been looking for this for a while. I couldn't find it. And when I did find it, it was marked up like the five or ten bucks. I said, no, you know what? I don't want it. And it didn't really look that good. I noticed some books that they have in the little thing where you can flip through at half price books. They got them priced really high, but some of them are beat up. I'm thinking, it's not worth that. And I looked them up when I on my phone when I was there for some of the books that they had. And they had them like for five, ten dollars. And they were online for like going for a dollar seventy, two bucks. I'm thinking I'm not sure where they're checking. They're probably checking eBay for some of the stuff. But this is spawn number two. I couldn't find it before. And I found it for a dollar fourteen. And I got like multiples of all the other books up to like 60 or 70 or something like that and I finally found number two so this is my only copy of this one for dollar fourteen. hopefully I can find it again I remember when it first came out I had multiples of number one and number two I bought a bunch of them sold them all and I wish I would have kept them but who knew I had multiples of uh, Savage Dragon all the early issues Young Blood all of them when they came out um, just uh, just What's the other one? Just There's so many different <laughs> books that they came out with. But when they came out, they were hot because those were image guys. Uh, this one, I thought this was... Yeah, th this is my second copy of this one. Spawn Bible number one. I paid like half off cover for this one. The, the first one that I have was kind of beat up a little bit. But I got it because it was just different. So this is, this one's a lot, a lot in better shape. But it has a few nicks on it. But I thought it was cool. I said I gotta grab it. And this one was cool. This is uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation, and Doctor Who. This is issue number five. As soon as I saw it, I said they combine those two characters and, and series and uh, stories together. Wow. So I grabbed it. These are going for like eight, nine dollars, something like that on mycomicshop.com. And I like to find, I was looking, and when I went there, they had put out a whole bunch of new stuff. And this half price books had a, a bunch of different stuff that was like in a row, like a whole series of stories and everything. And I was hoping they would have the rest of them, but they didn't. And this one, I got two issues of this one. The first and second issue, The Wedding of Luke and Mara, Star Wars Union. This is going for a little bit of money. This is number one. I paid $1.49 for this one. I paid $1.99 for the Star Trek Doctor Who. But this was cool. And this one, Star Wars Union number two, I paid $1.49 for this one. There's four issues to this. 
I thought that was cool. That's a good story. Okay, my next one is Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes number 230. I paid, what's that, $1.14 for this one. As soon as I saw it, I said, you know what, grab these because these are older issues and these are going for a little bit of money. I'm surprised they put them out for that little bit of cheap, but hey, I'm not going to complain. And here's Super Villains number eight. Half off cover for this one. I thought that was cool. And this one I wasn't sure about. I checked it online. It said it's going for a little bit of money. And it was on eBay. Teether, number two. Paid $1.99 for it. I grabbed it out because it was different. I said, you know, put this in your spec pot, spec um, stack. So it's going for a little bit. Kind of a spooky story. So I grabbed it. That's number two for that one. And this one, Venom, uh, The Hunger, number four. Paid $1.14 for this one. Wasn't a bad story. I read it and everything. Dr. Payne and everything's trying to, um, he likes to inflict pain and experiment on different um, people and, and different things. And he got the Venom symbiote because they got it off of Eddie Brock. And they had it in there. And Eddie broke into this uh, the lab and everything and set the symbiote free. And he just commenced to kick in everybody's behind for doing that, what they did and everything. But um, this one, it's pulling away from the staple, I noticed. It's in a really beat up bag and everything. But since I was I wasn't gonna get it, but I said it's a venom. It looks pretty cool and everything, so I'll grab it. But like I said, I paid a dollar fourteen for it. Um maybe I can figure out a way to reattach the staple. If not, don't worry about it and just I'll see if I can sell it maybe. Uh this one I thought was cool. Walking Dead number one fifty four. There was a few issues of, before it and around it. I didn't pick them up because I think I have them already or they weren't really worth a lot. But I, and like I said, I had a good budget, so I just grabbed the one that was worth the most. And this one is. This is like a, maybe a $20 book. And my girlfriend gets to read it now. Then I found a, uh, like three, I found four Wonder Woman titles. Four Wonder Woman books. I found 284. These were older. And let me say, I think half off cover for this one. So these were all together. And this one's. To 285, half off cover. That's cool. And this one's 301, half off cover for this one. And here's 322, half off cover. Like this was that collection. It was like a, it was a bunch of Wonder Woman in there and some other stuff. But these were the oldest ones that I could find. And they, they didn't have any more. And like I said, I found some other stuff, but um, I thought that was they were cool. So I said, grab Wonder Woman. I like that. This one's Wolverine 172. I got this is my second copy of this one. This was half off cover. This one, like I said, when you go and you start looking for books, you start recognizing and remembering what covers are worth something and which books are worth more. And you just, as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. It didn't have a cover on it or it didn't have a um, back and board on it. So, but I grabbed it. It, it was not in bad condition either, even though it wasn't in bagged and board. That might have a little nick down there, but cool. And last three issues, X-Men, I think this is X-Men 50. The shiny cover, let me pick this up, make sure, because I don't want to tell you wrong. X-Men number 50, yeah. It's got a wraparound cover, shiny. Not bad. Give it artwork in there. So I thought that was cool. And I grabbed it and I said, hey, grab that one. That's cool. And then I got another copy of this, Uncanny X-Men 304, with the um, card on it. thought that was cool. And I got another Amalgam story, X-Patrol. I didn't see this one before. And if I did see it before and I showed it on a video, I don't remember. But uh, this is number one of the X-Patrol. Amalgam cover. So I'll grab that one. I get to add it to my uh, Amalgam collection. I paid half off cover for that one. And this one was the last thing I bought. When I looked through the comic books, I said, you know what? Let me look at some hardback books and see if I can get some stuff. These are really cool. This is um, Speed Racer. 
I thought that was cool. Original manga. Front and back. And I paid $14.99 for it plus tax. But these are cool. I'm going over 15 minutes, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. This is the last video, though. But here's the uh, back of it. Back of the book. And here's the front. Inside is the dust jacket. These are really cool. He got a little dent there. But um, here's the uh, front of the book. I just love Speed Racer. And let me take the cover off of it. Like I said, that's the uh, whole dust jacket. Here's the book all together. There's the back again. That's the outside of it. Here's the front. It's like you just see the inside, inside of the book. And one more. Just the from the cartoon. It's really cool. You see the first few pages are in color and then it then it goes to black and white throughout the book. But it's in it's translated all in English, which is cool. So, and here's the second one. I'm going over, but that's just my last one. Here's the front with Racer X on there. And I, and I, I, just, I don't know why I forgot the guy, Spritel was the kid's name. There he is right there with Chim Chim. And let me take this off and I'll show you this. Very cool. And here's the front. You know, they read backwards, or to us it's backwards, but they have their books turned around. It's different than ours. I wonder when that when that started. It's pretty cool, though, because they look at us and probably go, what are you guys reading backwards for? And, and then we think they're reading backwards, but that's the way it's, that's the way they do it. So it, it's, I think it's cool, though. And here's the inside of this one I'll show you. Here's Jim Jim. Matt. Inside of the pages, Racer X's car. It's just, it's just really cool. The story and everything, just all the um, story, just like the cartoon, and you see it. And I hope the um, I like to do a flip through of this eventually. But just really cool. But that's it. That's it. There, see both of them together. Everything. It's just really cool, huh? When I saw it, I said, you know what? You might not see this again. You might not see this again. So grab this. Everything, because I, I have um, I had I wanted to buy when it first came out the uh, videos. But I can see, I see them on eBay right now, which I like to buy. It was the car and it had all the CDs or all the DVDs in it. Of, of the whole series, the complete series. It was in the form of the um, racer um, or the Mach 5. And I started to buy it, but I had to save my money and I couldn't get it right when it came out. And I bought them over time and everything, like single series, series season one, two, three. I can't remember how many series, seasons it was. But, oh, there are. But um, just really cool. But I like Speed Racer. But that's it. And I like the, the live action movie too. People probably say, ah, that's that movie's terrible. But if you watch the movie, and then go watch a cartoon. It was a cartoon made in real life. You know, tell me what you think about that. But it was cartoon and, and live action. Everything in the cartoon, you're like, that is so corny. And then you watch the movie, that is so corny. But it's awesome because it's Speed Racer. And they did just like, just like the cartoon. And the action of the racing around the track and everything, that was an exciting movie. If you haven't seen Speed Racer, the live action movie, you got to check it out. Give it a thumbs up and everything and help the star rating go up because it was a very good movie. I wish they could do another one.
was it was good but thank you very much for watching let me know what you think let me know if you have any of these books and i'm going to be having a contest pretty soon but thank you for your support thank you for the fun and i like watching your videos too and i'm going to go buy some packing boards and bags and i'll do a video for a contest pretty soon but thank you very much again for watching you guys have a great day and collect the dude is out